So today I want to talk to you about creating a background for your LinkedIn profile that is going to add some personality, uh, tell a little bit about who you are, and most importantly, let people know that you are smart and savvy enough to have created one in the first place. Most of the clients that I work with choose blue as uh, their color palette. Most people know that blue signifies sincerity and trust, and it's used by a lot of brands. So for the demonstration today, I have chosen this blue color palette. One of the things I want to mention, when you are looking for color palettes online, you want to always make sure to search for color palettes with hex codes. You will need those for your resume and certainly for creating that custom background photo on Canva. Now, Canva is great for these background photos. They have a lot of templates that are already sized perfectly for various online platforms. They have several for LinkedIn banners, and you're going to want to choose 1584 by 396. So just to get us started, I already created a banner that we can work with. You can see that LinkedIn has a lot of templates that you can use, uh, whether you have the free version or the paid version. So for this demonstration, I picked out this one from Beacon Homes that they created. Now, using a template from Canva is an easy, fairly quick way to go, but you wanna make sure that you customize it to you and you include the colors that you've decided represent your brand. So I'm gonna use the color palette, the blue that I just showed you a few minutes ago. Okay, I got a little head start with the template that I selected. I removed the icons that I'm not going to be using for this background image. And I selected a photo that is going to match the personal brand that I'm working on for someone who's working in public relations. So I'm going to begin by changing this color. I'm going to be using the template that we looked at just a few minutes ago. So I have my new background and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to use the darker blue from that color palette. So I have a good start here on my color palette. And what I'm gonna do just to bring in the photo a little bit is when I go over here, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at the photo. And you know, I think I'm gonna go with this color and that it goes with the colors that I have already, but it also brings in the photo. I'm gonna use my name. I'm gonna be a public relations professional. So that's a little big. I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit until it fits right under my name. I'm gonna use that dark blue again that I used on the arrow. And here I've created a custom background photo that is not going to look like anyone else's because not only have I changed the picture, but I have color coordinated the colors to match the personal brand colors that I've also used on my resume. I hope you found this brief tutorial on creating your own personal brand helpful. If you did, follow for more.